now I got a now I got a new XC car. She claims she claims I have a clouded mind. She claims there's fog in there. You're saying there's fog in the mind? Yeah. I'm just listen, guys. I'm just saying. <laughs> clouded, huh? People only in in a working place. People are feeling a lot of pressure. So the fact that they're so bamboozled when something else comes up. It's not because they're actually bamboozled. It's because they're just like, whoa, they're being them? What does that say about me? When you are in work or outside of work, you should consistently be you. If you're changing your mindset or your anything and your energy, whatever, that's not you being 100% true to yourself or anybody else. That's just like you're forcing something and that's exactly why you're so tired at the end. Like everybody that works a fucking nine to five or whatever fucking works, they're just like so tired at the end of the day. Bro, just go in, fucking don't give a fuck. You're there, they need you, you don't need them. I don't give a fuck if they're paying your fucking bills, your car mortgage, your fucking car, I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, without you, there is no corporation. That is true. So like, why be so structured and be so, oh, I gotta be this, I have to think this, I have to act like this. No, you really don't. You only think that way because you're enforcing that upon yourself. The fuck? We're fucking humans. We're not supposed to be perfect. We're not robots. And if you act like an NPC, you're gonna be look like an NPC and look at, like you're fucking crazy. Everybody's gonna look at you and be like, thinking something about you. Why can't you just be you? Don't give a fuck about anybody anybody's head anybody's mind anybody's feelings about it just do you no matter where you are who you're around that's what's gonna keep your mindset so clear within yourself and it's gonna boost your confidence a lot like i know i say some out-of-pocket shit guys but i say it because that's just who i am and i don't give a fuck if nobody fucking likes it or likes it or whatever you suck my dick bro i don't even got a dick I mean, it's sitting on his lap right now, but like everybody is allowed to be themselves. And if anybody's nitpicking or making you feel like you got to think a certain way or reacting to things that you're saying, bro, who gives a fuck? Just say it anyways and enforce that into them. Because when they go out in the world, you don't think they're going to experience somebody similar or like a different energy that's going to spark them the same way that they just that you just did. It's better to start them now. It's better to scare them now so they'll be ready in the future. It's not even scary. People just think it's so scary to be different. Mm -hmm. It's not. Yeah. Just be you. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Just be yourself. Mm -hmm. And if nobody likes it, who cares? That's their shit, not yours. People that don't like others feel something within themselves mm -hmm. and have unresolved trauma mm -hmm. or experiences that they don't even can one see or feel or yet understand and that's not their fault but every every day is about learning and teaching so if you have the opportunity to give somebody a new experience and to teach them or to make them feel something new or to think a new way why not do it that's what i do every day because at the end of the day who's gonna be living in my body in in my entity you Me. you exactly mm -hmm. No more fogginess. There should be no hesitation with what you're saying and how you're being around anybody. Just say what you gotta say and be who you gotta be. Even if they're higher up than you or lower than you. They're really doesn't, not. Exactly, yeah, they're nobody really not. is. Nobody's at any level. Yeah, point is, continue to be you. Because there's not anybody else that's gonna be you. And not gonna lie, if you guys weren't you, I'd kinda miss you. If you weren't you, I'd miss you. Everybody. As soon as somebody is just like somebody else, I, I really just like, wish yeah. you would just be you, you know? There's the most tension within people and like within conversations. This is just what I notice when I'm but like I when I don't I have the most tension when I'm just holding back what I wanna say. Exactly. Or who I wanna be. Especially like in having conversations just with people at work or people in general or family. When you feel like holding back like who you really are, that's when the anxiety comes in. That too. But you could already have anxiety even before that. And that just triggers it more. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That anxiety could stem from many different things, guys. Not just plain having diagnosed anxiety or undiagnosed anxiety. Because not everybody's diagnosed either. So, But 
It could stem from trauma, a trigger. It could stem from your thoughts, your unconscious thoughts, your conscious thoughts, something that you feel in the moment that you may not understand, anything. Some people just need to hear it like I do. If you're not you, who else is going to be you? Mm -hmm. So just be you, please. Like, I know it sounds weird for me to say please, but... No, nah, but it hurts to not see others be themselves. And exactly. You could, and you can see it and feel it. And one thing that every single person has in common is that they can read and feel energy, and you have to choose to do it or not. No. Mm. It's not always a choice, because not everybody can. Because you have to be awakened within not only yourself, but with the world and others. And that takes a lot. It just takes... Like I said before, learning and understanding and desire. If you desire to find and figure out and 100% be you and accept yourself 100%, then you can go on to teach yourself and learn how to accept 100% others for exactly who they are, whether they have flaws or that you think are flaws or not. It doesn't matter. Nobody has flaws in my opinion, but teach them. Well, in my opinion, everybody has their own different routes, but how I have come to it, I worked on me, the world, kind of at the same time, but like, you know, like a like a seesaw, balancing them. Uh -huh. And then others just came naturally along with it because I'm not a very, I'm not a judgeful person, nor will I look at somebody and be like, oh. They have this and this and this and this and this wrong with them. Yeah. There's never anything wrong with anybody. And that takes a lot because you have to be really, really strong and confident within your own energy in order to just walk this earth carefree. Not everybody can exactly. do it as easily as others. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's not a bad thing. Everybody's mm -mm. learning. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Everybody learns at their own pace. Exactly. And for those that may think, oh, I've tried, I can't do it. There's so many different ways, and I get you. I've been there, too. Like, I, I'm not going to say I know 100%, but I understand from at least my point of view of being lost and trying to figure that out and yeah. trying to find peace and be peace for yourself and for others and for the world. There's so many different routes that you could take. I was going to say perspective, but that's not even a good word. Just open. Awaken, yeah. Yeah, awaken, open. It doesn't even take much to awaken your mind. It's just you have to be ready for that. Like, what if you had, a, like, an impulsive thought? Like, what if somebody else had that thought? To me, it's not a good thought. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't want somebody else to have that thought. But if they did, I can't look at them and be like, oh, damn, like, they're depressed. Oh, that's that's bad. No. No. At all. Because you're not in the same situation. But not even just that. Not even that. It's just... I have to look at them not as what their experiences were and that create them. No, your experiences don't create you. You create mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at that person as if they're solely a person and just a pure energy of their own. And that's how you have to kind of look at everybody for you to be okay with whatever they do, or however they think and feel, whatever. Because that's going to make your mind and your body, you're just going to feel so much lighter mm -hmm. when you're around anything, anybody, in any situation, at work, at school, in, in, a, in an office. Like, you're going to be so much lighter. And to me, at least to me, that's important for me to be able to walk on this earth kind of like a bubble. But allowing yourself. And if you can do that and want to be that for yourself, I, I know you can do that and be that for other people too. But you got to put yourself first. Because if you don't come first, then you're not going to be able to support anybody else. Uh -uh. Nope. And I, I'm not saying, oh, you can't love somebody else if you don't love yourself. Or you can't be happy. You can't make somebody else happy. You just got to be able to support yourself yeah. first. You just got to accept every single part of you. From the past, the present, the future, mm -hmm. everything you've been through. I'm not saying you got to look at it and be like, all those bad things that happened to me are okay. Because no, they can be bad things and you can allow them to be bad. But that's not you. And that just has 
helped you become the person that you are, but it's not what created you. Mm -mm. You chose to walk and wake up every day and move the way that you knew best how in that time. Exactly. So I'm proud of you. And you should be proud of yourself first before you're proud of anybody else. You have to be. And I know that's really hard for some people to say. Cause I, I, I know, trust me, I know. You can be disappointed in yourself. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know? You can be proud and still mess up. Yeah. That's a part of being a fucking human being. Mm -hmm. An energy. Moral of the story, guys, just keep being yourself. And I want to keep seeing you guys be you. And I want to keep seeing you be you, no matter where you are. I want to see you be you. I already am. Uh, 